Hey, hey, modelers, how you doing? <clears throat> yeah. This is uh, Alan of Alan's Strange and Things and RDA in scale. Uh, wanted to show you guys a little kit that I got. <clears throat> um, um, got me a feral crimper, a feral crimper, and got me some little. Uh, uh, feral connectors that like you see right there so I could uh, put them on the ends of uh, <clears throat> this really thin this really thin cotta wire this cotta wire is about 26 gauge the <clears throat> this gauge right here is about 24 and you can see that the ferrule on this one here is uh, kind of smashed down. And it's because I uh, put it in one of the barrel connectors. And I mainly done this because like when you're wanting to use a barrel connector like you see right here. Like a European barrel connector. Or I guess that's what they call them. <clears throat> European style connector. And they basically do have the little barrels in them. And you, you, uh, you screw down the set screw. If you try to put just the wire in there, you're going to end up chewing up all the wire, tearing it up, and you're going to have strands falling out, and you're, I mean, you're going to have a mess. <clears throat> and, you know, the more wires that you lose, the more that you could possibly have your voltage to go down, you know, and not be uh, as good as it was. And, uh, of course, you know... Uh, of course, you know that uh, if you're using Cotto Unitrack, if you're using Cotto Unitrack, you're going to use, or some some of you guys might use, I know I'm using, uh, I use this 26 gauge uh, <clears throat> wire for uh, uh, running my uh, power rail joiners. Well, if you use this type, this style of connector, you can put you can put the ferrules, your ferrule connector on here, and you can uh, you can put it in the uh, uh, the European style thing without worrying about it smashing down. Um, <clears throat> the kit that I got that consisted of the uh, all the different sizes of uh, ferrule connectors here. And it goes up to, I believe, I think that's 10 gauge, I believe. <clears throat> Ran about 10 bucks. And uh, the uh, tool, let's see if you can see the tool here. Maybe I can put it down inside here and you can see it a little bit better. Or I'll shut my light off. Let's see if we can get her to set in here and not want to fall over. Let's see if I can turn my light off. That'll help a little bit. That is a... Uh, that is a... H S C eight six dash six dash six. Uh, of course, it's got colors on there, and it says uh, gauge is twenty three to ten, or zero point two five to six millimeter. Um, <clears throat> this this ferrule tool, crimp tool, and I'll open her up here. Uh, you can pretty much get this tool here in different, with different, uh, uh, well, you can get it in square, you can get it in round, and you can also get uh, the tool, <clears throat> you can get the tool with different, uh, uh, oh, your different uh, handles on there. And they'll have a different name, but they're basically the same tool. And... Uh, this tool here, I got it at uh, Midwest Electronics. Uh, got it from uh, Harvey there at Midwest Electronics here in Hutchinson. And, of course, I call him Uncle Harv. And, uh, uh, like I say, I got the tool for about 30 bucks, And I got the uh, the uh, ferrules for about 10 My My uh, case that I had these in was cracked. So I wanted a case that I could also put my uh, put my tool in, you know, my uh, ferrule tool in. So 
I went to looking to see if I had any, uh, went to looking to see if I had any, uh, uh, cases that I could put this in. And I put this in a, uh, Plano, uh, Plano box here. I think you can see Plano right there. And, uh, let's see. I think this Plano box is a, let's see if I can see it. Let's see if I can see it. I think it's a model, I think it's a model NO, NO693, I think it is, I think it's a NO, NO, maybe that's a 5, no, yeah it is a 5, maybe it's an NO5, or wait a minute, let me turn it around here, let's see if I can see this, um, let's see. Yeah, I'm trying to see. Hang on, let me let me pause my video and I'll see what this is here. Hang on. Okay, this is a thirty. It's a model number thirty six fifty, and you can get these Plano Taco boxes just about anywhere. Uh, I don't know if you can get them at Walmart anymore, but used to you could. Um, <clears throat> probably get them at Dick Sporting Goods or or at your favorite, you know, fishing fishing place or. Uh, 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 and, uh, uh, you know, somewhere like that, just, uh, <coughs> uh, if you got a big sporting goods place, uh, that handles a lot of fishing and stuff, you probably could find one, uh, there, uh, where you're close to, but, uh, it works really good, and, uh, I wanted it for, and I'll show you here in just a second, I'll put the, I'll put the, uh, the feral in this, uh, in this uh, this European uh, uh, block here, and I'll show you guys how it looks uh, in there. Uh, right now, you can see. Right now, you can see. If you look at the ferrule, if the camera will focus, you can see that the ferrule has bent up slightly. But that's where the that's where the set screw set down into it. But it didn't just it didn't destroy the ferrule, so I think that's pretty cool. And so uh, I really like that. And so we'll show you guys uh, how that looks uh, in there. And if you uh, want to get you get you one, uh, call up uh, Midwest Electronics here in Hutch or whatever, and and talk to Harv, and uh, he'll send you out one. Or if you live close by, go by and pick you up one. Uh, uh, the tool in the in one of those kits. I may pause this just a minute. Okay, <clears throat> with that you can see that I've got the uh, I've got the 24 gauge wire inside there, and uh, um, we will uh, attempt to show this here. I think we'll move my we'll move my foot here. Let's see if we can do this where this is showing on camera. Uh, if you kind of go like this, you try to yank it, pull on it hard. You might move it just a little bit, but it ain't going to move hardly too much. You can see, you can see that the, <clears throat> how the ferrule is up in there. Now, it doesn't go all the way over to where you can put both set screws on into it, but it does fairly good. So, uh, and it holds it in. It holds it in really good and tight. So, uh, but uh pretty good little pretty good little kit pretty good uh and uh if you're wanting to get away from you know installing your uh sorry for the belly shot and whatever uh let my still let my wound heal up um if you're uh wanting uh you know a tool and you're wanting like i say to get away from the uh frayed wires or wires that are cracked or something like that get you one of these tools and uh and uh I mean, these can be used for, you know, wiring up your little uh, places and that, your little uh, houses and that, your lighting lighting kits and stuff. And and uh, with these here, and I might go into a little bit, little bit longer into the next video, but I'm not going to go too long. But uh, you can uh, you can uh, uh, definitely if you're uh, wiring. 
definitely if you're wiring, uh, um, <clears throat> you know, say like this as a sub bus, like if you're making, <clears throat> if you're making a sub bus and you want your, you want your uh, power rail joiners, like if you make, okay, say like you're, uh, say like you're making, doing a yard and this is like, <clears throat> say like this is yard, um, um, yard track number one, two, three, four, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Say like you've got a yard that's got six tracks, you know, and you want your white here, your blue here, your white here, your blue here, or if you want all your whites on one deal here and all your blues, you know, to where you're connect connecting all whites and all blue you can definitely do this, and uh, like I say, um, if you're wanting to use this type of connector or whatever and that, uh, I also, I like these connectors, and um, let me pause, and I'll, uh, I'll put uh, one of the uh, ferrules in here, and I'll show you that. Okay, I accidentally hit the, uh, accidentally hit the uh, stop button, but we can still show this. So, uh, we'll show putting, uh, the, uh, we'll show putting the, uh, ferrule into, uh, one of these, uh, blocks like this. So, hang on. Try not to hit the stop button this time. Okay. I'm gonna wing this and do this like that, and I'm gonna let the camera just sit right where it's at. <clears throat> yeah, let's see if I can get my big, get my big Phillips screwdriver here. All right, got the big Phillips screwdriver right here, and we're gonna we're gonna zoom down these other screws here on the block, <clears throat> except one, this one right here, maybe this one. I don't think the ferrule will go all the way in there though. We'll take this. Okay, let's see if I can see this. Okay, here's here's where I've got the here's where I've got the ferrule at. And usually, if you look underneath and this, so uh, you can see that the the plate goes down, so it's going to catch uh, any like wire and stuff like that. Uh, anything that you put underneath there, solid wire, you know, it'll catch it and it won't let it move. So <clears throat> basically, you can do the same thing with the ferrule. Now, I could let it set out here like this or let it or go up all the way in and then we'll snug her down see if you can see this hmm like that and you can see that the ferrule is uh, let's see where she at if you look and let me kick the light on. If you look right there, you can see the ferrule is right there. Didn't smash it. Didn't hardly smash it at all. And it's setting up in there. If you look here, you can see that the ferrule is setting up inside there. You go like this. You can't really move that around. Plus, plus your wire is protected. You know, you've got this, you got this, uh, base around here so your wire is up inside the ferrule your ferrules up inside there and uh, you can use these terminal blocks and you can pretty well pretty well snug that screw down and I guarantee you what it ain't going nowhere another thing that you can do uh, right here on your base and you've got little you've got little uh, oh indentions in there which will grab which will grab the wire or like with the ferrule in there you could take a little bit of no ox ID, you know, if you didn't want no uh, oxidation or anything like that, you could take some of that no ox ID and put a little bit of no ox uh, in there. And let's turn this off. You could take a little bit of no ox ID. Let's get the, let the camera focus here. Come on, focus here. Sorry about my foot. Um, and put a little bit of no ox here, or you could put. 
you know, a little there, and then you could put a little bit under the plate. And you'd definitely have a, you know, uh, I mean, just enough to, you know, just to get a, a connection and also get enough that it's going to, you know, protect uh, your connection. And so, uh, like I say, you, that this is this is solid. This ain't going to go nowhere. And it really didn't smash down the ferrule that much, uh, maybe a little bit. But it's still going to hold the wires, you know, pretty well in place. I mean, I'm, I'm tugging on this pretty good. And... Uh, it's not letting them go, and you can also see that I've got uh, the uh, ferrules on here. Now this this is 26 gauge wire. What I had to do on the tool, and I'll get the tool here. Whoops! Let's move this and move my foot again. What I had to do on the tool. This will focus here. Let's see if we can get a get her to focus here. Come on, camera. I had this was set here when I got the when I got the tool. Come on, come on, come on. Um, maybe it'll do it now. Okay. Sometimes it just camera wants to be doesn't want to work. Anyway, I had this set in this setting here. It was on the lowest setting, and I dialed it up. I dialed it up, uh, or maybe it was here. I think it was here. I had to dial it, dial it up two settings, and that's so I could crimp the 24 gauge and the 26 gauge. And so now she's going to show. Uh, so I had to do that to, to make that work. And okay continuing where i was at i was trying to show trying to show you all i was trying to show you all and of course my stupid ass my stupid ass camera decided it wanted to get warm so if you can see this and i think you can see it a little bit better and i had to i had to give the old uh, uh phone a, a good little smack too because uh uh, I've learned or whatever that that uh, when the camera is not uh, focusing very good, it's time to give the camera a smack. So what you do is you basically take your you take the phone in one hand, you take your other hand, uh, and uh, you lay it flat, and you give it a good smack. And when you give it a good smack, the focuser decides it wants to focus again. So anyway, uh, moving on. After we give it its uh, attitude adjustment. Uh, uh, here's where the set screw was at and we moved it to here uh, into this uh, setting right here and that way we was able to uh, we was able to uh, if you look here uh, we was able to crimp the uh, 26 gauge wire and uh, let's see if you can look at it if I can get it to hold here if the camera will focus again it bit down into it but it didn't uh you know it didn't go really really far i mean it did and it's probably trying to focus on both both images here but uh it bit down if i hold my hand here that might help a little bit you can see where it kind of you know kind of went down into it but it didn't go to where the wire is coming through or anything like that and the reason that it had to, it had to do that is so it could bite into the 26 gauge which is really 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 small wire and so uh but it crimped it i mean it it definitely i mean i mean i can't get it out of there so i probably could back it off maybe one notch you know back to that one deal but i don't know if it'd still uh crimp into there or not but uh anyway i also uh i ran the wire to where you can see the wire is coming through the end of the uh ferrule and uh but uh i tell you what it's really worth it's really worth getting these because if you're if you're using these on um you know uh uh in these uh terminal blocks uh, 
uh, the European style like this. If you're using them in this, or if you're using them in uh, with the uh, uh, the other terminal block, I don't know where I put it at now. But if you're using it, uh, um, or here it is in my hand. Ah. <coughs> Excuse me. If you're using it in either one of these terminal blocks, and uh, uh, it uh, really helps. I mean, you can put just bare wire in there, but when you put that bare wire in there. You've got the, you know, the thing of possibly losing, you know, some of your wire when you're trying to do it. And if a wire, you know, decides to stray over into the, you know, into another side on you, uh, it could uh, possibly have a short. So, but we'll uh, unconnect or undo this and uh, we'll, uh, yeah, this didn't even smash that. I mean, putting it into the, putting that in there, it smashed it maybe. Let me put my hand underneath there and see if it'll focus here. There it goes. Yeah, that's what it needed. Just needs a background, I guess. And the background was way too far, so. It didn't really hardly smash. Maybe just a little bit right. Maybe just a little bit right here. Not, not, not too much. Just a little bit right here on the side, maybe. So, and that's not too bad. Maybe just a little bit right there. But I think it was, I think it was worth, you know, uh, it was worth getting. And like I say, this crimps in a round style or you can buy them to where they crimp in a square style but i like the round the rounds okay but as cheap as they are you could if you wanted you wanted round and square both yeah, i mean uh they're cheap enough you could get two of them and do either do either way um uh they're not what you say cheap built i mean they're they're not like a weehaw you know, that's, or like a uh, Greenlee or something like that that's going to cost you two or three hundred bucks. But they're built good enough that they'll last if, you know, if you're doing just, uh, you know, kind of like every other day crimping or if you're doing, you know, once a day crimping or once a week crimping. Uh, Harv did tell me that he has, uh, he has, uh, Sold a lot of these to, uh, well, he sold these these here to guys from Evergy, <clears throat> which is, which used to be Westar here in Kansas. He sold them to Evergy guys. He sold them to guys that work here in the city of Hutch. He sells them, this one company buys a box of a hundred of these for each one of their workers, uh, for each one of his this guy's workers to use he buys a hundred of them and uh and he buys them i think every i think every six months but they're using them every day i mean they're they're literally they're literally crimping stuff every day so but uh sorry for the foot but uh uh here again is what it looks like when it's open I'll kick the light on so you can see what it looks like inside. You can see where the where it bites down into the bites into the to the ferrule. Right there. And right there. And so um but uh uh give her a call. Uh like I say it's Midwest Electronics here in Hutchinson, Kansas. And uh Give Harv a call and say, uh, uh, I want one of these. And uh, <clears throat> you've seen this on uh, uh, Alan's Trains and Things and RDA N scale. And, and uh, Alan, just say, Alan said, come and see Harv. And like I say, I call him Uncle Harv. And, uh, uh, you know, give him a call. It's, like I say, you just look up Midwest Electronics in uh, Hutchinson, Kansas. He is selling to a lot of uh, railroad uh, railroad guys, model railroad guys, 
And so, uh, get one of these for about 30, 35 bucks. One of these here, you can get them in square or the round, square or round. It'll do a, it'll do a square crimp or round crimp. He has, uh, um, uh, he has solder irons, solder stations. Uh, he's got uh, heat shrink tubing, uh, little, uh, you know, little flame, I mean, uh, and uh, uh, deals that, you know, little uh, torches. You know, if you need to do something like that, he's got, uh, uh, oh, uh, heat guns to where you can heat uh, your, uh, uh, you know, your, uh, Oh, like your connections and stuff like that. Uh, uh, if you're using uh, 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 butt splices and stuff like that that need to have them soldered, he sells he sells them to do that. So uh, give him a call, and uh, we thank you for watching uh, the RDA uh, In Scale channel and Alan Strange and Things. And uh, uh, yeah, go get you one of these. Get you one of these tools and uh, and uh, simple to use, really simple to use. You just take uh, you just take the uh, 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 wire and do a little twist on it, strip it, take a uh, and I can show that. Um, uh, it's uh, really simple to really simple to do. Um, let me pause and I'll get a wire and show you. And we might go into another another deal here but we can uh, certainly do this this ain't no big deal okay we separate the wire like that and we may go into another deal to show this here hopefully we have enough battery to do that that's another thing that likes to do this on this phone my battery likes to go down on me so we'll let this in okay uh this is another thing that I like. This is another thing I really like is these strippers. Now, I'm not talking about strippers that are at, at a strip mall or, I mean, I mean at a strippers that are at a stripping joint or whatever in that. said strip mall. Well, there is strip malls, but this is not, uh, you know, your little sexy thing or whatever that did you go see for the night on the town. Uh, it's, a, <laughs> it's a wire stripper. Uh, these are vice grip vice grip made <coughs> you just take them like this put them right in here see right there that should strip hopefully it does there you go and it does strip down to this will strip down to uh, down to 26 gauge and if you look right there with my hand here, see if this will focus with my hand. You can pretty well see that uh, that it didn't break a wire. That's one thing I like about that. It 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 pulls on the pulls on the jacket, and it don't strip a wire at all. That's what I like right there. There you go. Right there, you can see it. Now let me give her a twist. Just about like this right there. About like that. And we'll grab one of the ferrules. And we take one of the ferrules and we'll put it in there just like this. And if you can see, she'll focus. There's the ferrule. And there's the, uh, there's the wire sticking out. She's definitely up inside. She's definitely up inside the jacket of the ferrule. And take the tool, open it like that, and we'll bring it down. We'll bring it down, and I'll show you. Let's see. There we go. Like that. Get it like that. The first click. This takes to a first click. You just want to support some some like the uh, Wee Haul will uh, the Wee Haul uh, uh, for instance 
they somehow have it to where you can put it in you can put the ja uh, the wire into the into the uh ferrule and it will uh uh it will uh uh where you can let go of the wire and uh it won't come out but uh here's uh what it looks like uh in the uh crimper you just take it like this like that and you're done and you're done now hopefully and you can see there's what she looks like after she's done right there you got about one two three four and see how she holds as you can see she's not coming out of there wire's not coming out She's staying in there. I probably could pull or use a tool or whatever and probably rip rip the rip the wire instead of uh, the wire, you know, it'd probably break back here. But she's not coming out. And that's 26 gauge. This is 26 gauge Kato, like your accessory wire and stuff like that that's going to go to your accessories and, uh, and, and that stuff. And you can see that the wire is actually going through the ferrule a little bit. I wanted that to go a little past so I could make sure that, you know, I was actually, you know, crimping into the, you know, into the, uh, when I was crimping into the ferrule, it was, uh, the wire was uh, coming through. But uh, you can do it to where the wire don't uh, stick out of the end. So anyway, <coughs> like I say, we went just a little bit longer and then it was, you know, first time it was because my my phone decided that uh it uh, didn't want to keep recording so i had to start it with a new video or start uh, another segment and uh and i want to show you guys how to do this i mean if you guys haven't done it i mean it's simple 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 and if you have done it and you want to see it doing this small wire it will do 26 gauge 24 gauge i don't think it would go any smaller unless you dial the uh uh unless you dial i think you've got two more yeah you got two more sorry about the foot you've got two more here that you can that you can go to and it would really you know get with it but you basically have one two three four five six and I'm on one, two, three, four, and I think I had her at uh, this, yeah, this this notch right here. But it wouldn't it wouldn't crimp down enough to go, you know, to where it would hold the it would this here wouldn't stay on the 26 gauge. But now it does. So anyway, wanted to show you guys that. Uh, like I say, it's not a fancy wee haul. It's not a fancy. Uh, Greenlee, but Greenlee would cost you about $300. A wee haul would probably cost about that. And for somebody, I mean, for a person that's doing this just occasionally, I mean, I'm not doing this every day, but I'm doing it, you know, when I need to do something or when I need to add something, you know, or, you know, or, you know, adding wires going into a terminal block or something like that. I mean, it will do, you know, what I need to do. And like I say, I've heard on YouTube reviews about that HSC 86-6, and they say it's just as good. Uh, another one is Nips uh, or Nipes uh, Nipes uh, Crimper. I think it's I think it's I think it's K N K N I P T S or something like that is the brand I believe, and they say it's just as good as what that is, and so. I mean, for 35 bucks, you know, you can't really, you can't really beat it. So, anyway, uh, hope you liked the video. Uh, please, uh, I hope you like my feet. Sometimes the feet likes to sneak in and say hi. Um, hope you liked the video. Uh, please leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you're going to get some. Uh, give me that, give me that thumbs up. Ring that bell. Ding, ding, ding. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Please do. Please subscribe. And uh, if you have, we thank you. Thank you for being part of the RDA N Scale channel. 
and uh, Alan Strange things. And we're going to go and let you guys see this video. And uh, y'all take care. We're rolling into Friday tomorrow. Might be some train videos that I put on here. So might get some might get some uh, rail fanning today. It's pretty hot here, pretty hot here in Kansas, about 103, 104. But if we can get some, we'll get some. Put some on here on the on here on the channel. Show y'all. Hope you like it. Hope you watch it, or like it after you watch it. And uh, 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 like I say, tell me what you think about the video. And if you're gonna go out and get you one of these, and give uh, 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 Harvey a call at uh, Midwest Model, I mean Midwest Model, Midwest Electronics here in Hutch, and uh, he'll send one out to you. And uh, he's got some good stuff. Got some good stuff. And so uh, uh, we thanks thanks again for watching. We'll see you later. Y'all take care. Hope you're having a good Thursday. And have a great uh, Friday and end of the weekend. Later, guys. And gals, RDA and scale. Bye-bye for now.